you look at the back of the tank there, you'll see our chocolate chip starfish. That's the starfish from our Arizona Fish Keeping logo. Um, very easy starfish to keep, quite hardy. And unlike a lot of other starfish species, the chocolate chip starfish will take meaty foods. So a lot of other starfish, all they do is roam around your tank and either eat biofilm, some algae, um, some detritus um, of the edible type. That is much more likely to run out, especially in a small tank the size of this biocube. We've had this um, chocolate chip starfish, I don't even know how long now, and he's gotten quite quite large. They can get five inches from arm tip to arm tip. There are other species of starfish that are similar in appearance to the chocolate chip starfish that do get larger than that. Um, so let's see if we can get this guy to take a krill from us. Hold on just a second. One of the only drawbacks of the BioCube is the lid. It's kind of difficult to deal with. So all you need to do when you see your little guy uh, at the surface is place some kind of meaty food. It can be uh, squid, mussel, um, table shrimp, all, all sorts of stuff. In this case it's just um, freeze-dried krill. He will take that and move it to his mouth using his tube feet, and then eventually, once he gets it there, gets it there, will press his body up against the uh, the surface, either the glass or in this case the back of the tank, holding the food in place, and then he will um, excrete. I, I I can't honestly say if I know it's his stomach or or some other digestive organ, but um, it comes out, envelops the uh, food, and digests it. And then by the time he's done, there, there's absolutely nothing left of it. In this way, you can keep your chocolate chip starfish rather healthy, and for a longer period of time, again, un unlike a lot of other starfish uh, who may readily run out of food, some starfish eat nothing but live sponges. Now a lot of us have live sponges in our reef tanks, but how long will those last if you have a predator um, taking them out? And not to mention that a chocolate chip starfish is not reef safe at all. Um, a good example of that is I switched this tank out. It used to be a reef tank and I moved I moved everything out, but there were a couple of mushrooms growing on the back of the tank. Now you can you can see all that's left of them now is a couple of spots. Um, that chocolate chip starfish went right over top of them, excreted his stomach like I said that he would, and when he moved on, they were gone. Um, I also watched him. Um, there was a, a dead snail. It manipulated the shell so that the meaty side was up and devoured it uh, completely, leaving a, a clean and, and hollow shell which I gave to my daughter for her hermit crabs. Anyway, um, I do recommend chocolate chip starfish. They are uh, about six dollars usually. That's about it. Like all starfish, um, they require a longer drip acclimation period. Um, I did this guy for two and a half hours drip. And as I said, done quite well very interesting um, animal. As you can see from the underside, they have uh, interesting tube feet and, and on the surface they're covered with pores and little uh, papillae, little feelers come out of those pores. Uh, it's interesting to watch them um, bring those out and, and suck them back in again. So if you're interested in a, a chocolate chip starfish um, I say give it a try. Just remember, absolutely, positively, not reef safe. Don't put it in your reef tank. Put it in your fish only. Um, otherwise, it's a goner. Now, along those lines, I have heard people say that they will munch anemones. Now, these, these are condylactis 
so pretty strong anemones. I don't know if that makes a difference. Hasn't touched them at all. We also have kind of a, um, a floundering little um, toadstool leather here that, that he is not doing so well because um, of some damage to the, the base during the transfer process from tank to tank, but um, it's been in with the starfish for a long time and he's never tried to eat it. So there, there are um, certain corals. Zinnia is another one. So if you want to have a, you know, a tank with, with just a few corals that, you know, he might not touch them all, but I'd be careful. All right. Well, that's it for a chocolate chip starfish.